Our son, Omer, is an American citizen. For 285 long days and nights, Hamas terrorists have been holding Omer in prison in tunnels underneath Gaza. Omer, which is a biblical name and means in Hebrew, the first crop is our firstborn. He was born in New York City one month after 9-11. Eight months pregnant, I walked across the Queensboro Bridge towards home that day. And here we are, 23 years later, and he's the victim of another vile terrorist attack. Let me tell you a little bit about my son. He's a connector. He's an extremely social person. He loves sports. In high school, he was captain of the soccer ball, volleyball, and basketball teams. He's a natural leader. And he cares deeply about others and about helping them grow. He turned 22 on October 14, 2023. And instead of celebrating with us and with his friends, he spent his birthday as a hostage of Hamas terrorists. Imagine, over nine months, not knowing whether your son is alive, waking up every morning, praying that he too is still waking up every morning, that he is strong and is surviving. I recite Psalm 23 in his merit every single day. I walk through the shadow of the, the valley of the shadow of the death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Bring them home. 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 During the brutal October 7 attack on Israel, over 1,200 people were slaughtered. Of them, 45 were American citizens. Where is the outrage? Where is it? This was not merely an attack on Israel. This was and remains an attack on Americans. Omer is one of eight American hostages and one of 120 hostages still left in Gaza. Citizens of 24 countries and five different religions, still held by Hamas, denied basic human needs. Their lives threatened every day. President Trump called us personally right after the attack when Omer was taken captive. We know he stands with the American hostages. We need our beautiful son back. And we need your support. We need your support to end this crisis and bring all the hostages back home. Thank you, everybody. God bless Israel and God bless America.